Hey, welcome back. It's time for another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jelen from MrExcel.com. We'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 123, Some All Two-Way Lookup Matches. Uh, here's a great question sent in uh, from Pakistan. Rahim, requirements is that when I change the date, it can sum all the figures of that region. Some ifs is not working. Some ifs is not working. All right. So, uh, we need to go find all the things that are north from this particular column. I'm going to use one little helper cell here, equal match, match. Looks for that date within this range of columns up here, and we want comma zero because we want an exact match. That tells us that the date that we've entered is in the second column. Now, I don't even have to use sum if, I can, or sum ifs, I can use equal sum if, sum if the range that we want to look through, we want to look through this range here. Uh, comma, see if it's equal to north, comma, and then if it is, add up the corresponding cell from the sum range. Ah, well, the sum range is the one that's going to change every single time. So I'm going to say the offset of this range right here, comma, how many rows? Well, no rows. How many columns? Ah, the columns is the answer from right there. So in other words, we're going two columns over from A2 to A6. So we'll close the offset, close the sum if, and control enter. There's our 16. So let's just do a little check here. We have 5 plus 6 plus 5 is 16. Excellent. We will uh, copy this date down here, and it changes to 28, 10, 8, 10, because we're now using an offset of 3. All right. I'm interested to see what Mike is going to come up with here, something a lot cooler than this. Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Cooler than this? No way, this is amazing. I love this, the offset reference, it's an entire column. And then you go 0, 3, boop, 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 to look up that entire column, or offset to get the entire column. Hey, if we're using cool criteria, Mr. Excel, this is like an ice cube, and my solution is going to be like, the sun or something. All right, let's come over here. So I'm going to take the approach of, hey, there's a two-way range here. I'm going to try and look up within a two-way range, look up the entire column. The index function is perfect for that. I'm going to give it the two-way array in the array argument there, comma. Now let's think about this. If I'm looking up the serial number within these serial numbers here, what I really want is that entire column. But look. This column has all the rows. So the way you instruct row number to get all the rows is either type in a 0 or leaving it empty. So I'm going to leave it empty. Now, column number, I'm going to use the same match as Mr. Excel. Look up the serial number within these sorted serial number dates. And since they're sorted, I'm going to do approximate match. The default, you can always tell that a function can take the default settings if you have the square brackets. And if you know it, you can leave it out. So I'm simply going to close parentheses. That'll do approximate match. Now let's highlight this and use our F9 key, evaluate key. And I can see, sure enough, it's looking up the entire February column, Control Z. Now I'm going to slap that into some if. Range, hey, there's all the criteria, comma. And the criteria is north. Close parentheses. Now you'd think. This argument right here, F9, hey, it's spitting out an array, and you think it need Control Shift Enter? Hey, and if you go look at Mr. Excel's too, that offset is spitting out the same range of values, or looks like an array. I can hit Enter without Control Shift Enter. If I change this, sure enough, it's giving me the correct values. Now let's check this out. I'm going to come to the sum if and click on that sum range. Yeah, that's. When you hit F9, right, it looks like it's spitting out a resultant array like you'd see in an array formula. Or um, So let's look at this. If I leave this here and hit Enter, what happens? You get the famous error message that doesn't really tell you the truth about what's going on. The sum if function cannot handle arrays. Meaning, if you leave it as an array constant or it was a resultant array from a, an array formula, some if doesn't like that. Escape. So why in the world does the output from index and offset work here? Because offset and index are spitting out a range of values, and the sum if can handle 
arranged like that. Absolutely amazing. All right, throw it back to Mr. Excel. As cool as the sun, are you kidding me? That index with the comma zero, or just leave the, the thing blank to return an entire column of values uh, right to the sum of that. That, my friend, was cool. All right, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next week for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is Fun.